Good morning, friends. Stephen Yana Benun here with Israeli News Live and uh, very serious things that are going on. Uh, Michigan Dam has failed and uh, we're going to be talking about what that's really about. Why did it fail? Why are people being flooded out of their homes as a result of that? Actually, it's the third one now that failed. It's three dams. There three failed. dams, okay. Now, this one, as you see some pictures on Facebook here, that brother is uh, a recording of what's happening. Michigan, right, Steve? Yes. It's in Michigan. Now, what? where does this come from? What? What is happening? Some people might think this has happened by chance or what a tragedy. Well, let's have a little different look at this. And um, we had Deborah Tavares on the other day, Steve. And I just want people to hear a little bit of what she has to say. And then we will make a commentary on this. We can look down at the ocean. We're not seeing the movement of what was in the past, uh, fish and so forth. They're, di they're dying. Uh, we're, we're noticing the shorelines. We must also recognize, as there are um, control technologies controlling the weather, there are technologies that is controlling the oceans. And uh, we have a video up called Coast Lions Under Attack. Back in World War II, they discovered and were working on, this is the United States and Australia, they were working on what is called the blast wave accelerator, creating tsunamis to hit low-lying coastal areas. Well, all the military worldwide that has bases or any type of operations in the low-lying coastal regions are moving to higher ground because they know that they're being attacked. They're part of the assault teams, the militaries. So the militaries are working against the people. They're working for climate change venues that, of course, we know are being created by weapons systems, not as we are being told through the Paris Climate Accords. We're being told that we must hold our temperature down, and if we don't, the areas that are not compliant are finding that they're being hit and chastised with um, Okay, so far I'm going to play more of this, Steve, uh, just in case people didn't register what she was saying, that areas that do not comply with 2030 agenda, New World Order agenda, are going to be hit with weather weapon technology. What's happening right now with these dams and in Michigan, do you think that has anything to do with the fact how Michigan people were protesting with guns and what they were doing there against um, the governor? Well, the thing is, is if it was just one case, maybe people would think, well, maybe perhaps not. But the issue is, is we have other places as well uh, as you had mentioned to me this morning as well, there was, I believe, a church, what it was in Mississippi or something, that was protesting um, uh, or, or, or suing the city over safer at home order. And then mysteriously, their church burns down. Yeah, by uh, arson. Exactly. So now they can stay home. Now they're saying over here, um, it was the first Pentecostal church in Holy Springs was destroyed by what investigators believe is an arsonist. And they're saying here we have uh, Jerry Waldrop has pastored the church for 31 years. He says we have tacked our brains and we have no idea. Waldrop said no enemies that we know of. We don't know anyone that we even think could be capable of doing something like this. So we see that something mysterious is happening to people who are protesting. But yet, look at what he was doing, though. He was, he was uh, pushing, suing for a, as it says in the title of the article right here, uh, a safer at-home order. Suing the city over the safer at-home order. So he obviously was not for 
uh, the way they were locking everybody down. And of course, there are a number of church leaders that are against this. Unfortunately, there are a number of them that are for it. Uh, they're there they go right along with the uh, uh, you know the agenda uh, even accepting and believing in the vaccines thinking that this is going to be some salvation to bring everything back totally ignoring biblical prophecy now here uh, it continue article continues the fire comes after Voldrop filed a lawsuit in April against the city of Holy Springs the 14 page document claims local police officers disrupted a midweek Bible study and a church's Easter service 10 days prior. According to the complaint, the pastor held outdoor services when possible, but would hold them indoors while practicing social distancing during inclement weather. So basically somebody did not... Um, they didn't appreciate they his didn't lawsuit. They didn't appreciate his lawsuit and his stand and his meeting together despite that the churches have ordered not to meet together or... And as we see here in Michigan, Michigan dam failures forced 10,000 to evacuate. Thousands in Michigan evacuated as river dams break. Okay, thousands evacuated following Michigan dam failures. Two dams in Michigan fell. Now it's three. 10,000 people evacuated as two Michigan dams burst sending. Well, but what was the uh, what is the official narrative for the cause of the break of the dams? Is this from heavy rains? Is this what they're alleging uh, in the articles there? Well, this is where Deborah Tavares comes with her investigative reporting because she was uh, investigating for years now this uh, federal document and the plans of the New World Order cabal. They are planning on attacking by weather weapon, weather weapons areas that will dis that disagree or or they do not go along fully with implementation of their 2030 agenda, and they're going to be punishing people with all kinds of things happening, dams, you know, like floods and fires. This is what she's talking about for years and years, and now we can see she's correct. Just the other day, she called me personally and she was telling me, Yana, be sure you do not live. Now, that happened last week before these dams broke. Now, she said, be sure you don't live by any water reservoir. They're going to attack them by lasers and weather weapons. So they break. So they force people to evacuate because the final game plan is for people to be put in the smart cities on top of each other so they can be surveilled, so they can be controlled. Even the social distancing. That's With breaking not, news of historic floods sorry, in Michigan, which tonight is on. That's not part of any kind of proven science against the virus or, or protecting yourself. This is for the surveillance technology. You see, AI has a difficult time uh, when people are close together and cell phones also, when people are too close together, they cannot recognize faces very well. So they're conditioning people to social distance so the AI surveillance technology can pick up every person. And they're doing it in the name of uh, science for for the virus protection. Right. So anyway, as the, the, the point that I was bringing out as I pulled up that article there uh, that we went away from for a second here, you know, they're saying that this is being caused, of course, from the rising water. Now, what's interesting to me is that if you go back when this, of course, what caused the water to rise were these very strange storms that we had come through about a week ago. Uh, and of course, this is when the government, you know, there were warning of a, 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 a freeze that was coming is going to reach all an Arctic blast, going to reach all the way down to Tennessee. And again, as you mentioned, the weather technology using HARP uh, in order to change the jet stream, things like that, that creates these Arctic blasts to come down. That in turn pulls up the warm air from the Gulf that brings in all these heavy rains, comes across. Uh, you know, even from the Pacific as it goes across, floods these areas up here, unbelievable. And then as you said, as Deborah Tavares points out, they can use different types of weapons that weaken these dams on top of it. And now they've, they've created one, they've destroyed the crops, 
uh, so that you're going to have a, even a greater mm -hmm. famine issue. Uh, they've now they've weakened the dams, destroyed them, caused the flooding uh, because the people of Michigan seem to be their problem right now because they have the guts to stand up to what's going on. Uh, but now the, all these people here are going to be disrupted and now they're busy dealing with their houses all being flooded out. So how convenient that is, isn't it? Yes. So let's listen more to Deborah and I will contact her if she can come with us again on the show and speak more uh, in detail about these weather weapon technologies and what they're planning to do with uh, areas that do not comply and rural areas. They want people out of rural areas as well and they're going to cause all kinds of fires, floods, uh, Gas tornadoes, leaks. hurricanes. They're going to feed the hurricanes so the, the winds are much stronger. But anyway, that's what she's talking about here. So let's keep listening. Assaults, be it weather, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, certainly atmospheric rivers, which is now called heavy rainfalls um, over areas which are breaching uh, the um, levee systems, breaching. We're looking at a large dam here in California that um, was almost breached two years ago that would have potentially uh, killed 100,000 plus more people had it breached. Well, I'm going to add this. So you're in the plane, you're flying overhead, you're looking at all the dams and reservoirs. These are all weapons systems. Uh, all the wastewater treatment plants that were built in the days to process our um, human waste are now all weapon systems. All the levees are now weapon systems. Bridges are weapon systems. Why? Why? So here is the why. We know that we have been told that because of increased climate change and significant increase of weather events, our infrastructure was not built for this type of catastrophic assault on the existing infrastructure. And that is how and why these are all now being used as weapons. So I would caution anybody that is downhill of any significant dam or reservoir that you, you will want to consider potentially relocating because we're being told here in the United States that the western part of the United States is going to experience fires that um, uh, are more severe than 1,200 years of recorded history. We're being told that fire season is soon to start here, and we are going to have significant, significant fires. And why? Because of the heavy aerosol spraying programs, which increases the combustibility of the fires. Fighters uh, are saying they've never fought fires this hot before or this fast. And we have to ask the next question, what kind of fires are they fighting? Okay. So we just wanted to show you what is really going on. And this is not by chance. We have been attacked. We are in a war. And this is the new world order applying their new AI technologies. Well, they're not new, really. They're not new technologies. But this is the time. They started with their coronavirus, which is a keter or a crown in a Sephirot Kabbalah tree. And from then, from there, from this crown, will start, they're determined to bring their new world order with any which way possible, even if they have to do all of these things simultaneously. So they will make sure that this will happen and there will be no resistance what, whatsoever. Stephen, so do you have any commentary before we go? <clears throat> well, the thing is, is just we need to be uh, vigilant about what's going on around us. Uh, and if you're able to uh, share these type stories that are happening in your uh, region of the world, uh, anywhere in the world, please send us that information. Uh, you can send it to Israeli News Live at gmail.com. We do get thousands of emails there. Uh, so just, you know, we, we go through them. We may not be able to respond back to you directly, uh, 
Um, but uh, we certainly go through that to try to see what you're sharing with us as well. So we want to thank you for listening in today on Israeli News Live. Yes, thank you, and may Lord Jesus bless you.